So Anna, Anna Riley there. Hello, Anna. Anna's on a picket line in Driffield. Um, so tell us about Driffield. Where is Driffield and um, what's the turnout like there, Anna? Good morning. Yes, Driffield's in East Yorkshire. It's a secondary school and sixth form as well. It's majority uh, closed today. It's just open to Year 11s up to Year 13, so they can come in and do some revision preparation for those exams, but the rest of the school is shut from Years 7 to 10. Uh, there's a fair turnout here at the picket line. I'd say there's around 10 teachers that have come out to strike. You can hear them whistling in the background. They've got the flags as well and it's all about pay and they've said it's about conditions as well they want that pay rise in line with inflation and the rising cost of living and they also want that pay rise not to come out of the school's budget well I spoke to Steve Scott earlier he's the East Riding NEU Joint Secretary and this is what he had to say uh, teachers are out on strike today for a fully funded pay rise in order to save education. So the government have made us an offer, however that offer was still unfunded, which for many teachers was not enough. They're in the, t in, in the classrooms day in, day out, they're seeing what an impact this, this underfunding of education is having. Parents know that what we're doing is right and they know that we're fighting for their children. They know that teachers and support staff don't want to be out on strike, uh, but, but they know that it, it is our last resort because the government aren't giving us a serious offer. Therefore, teachers have taken the hard decision to, to come out on strike to ensure that, that any offer that is made is fully funded by the government, not school budgets. Steve there saying that he believes that there is the public support still for these strikes. It's the fourth day of national strike action with these teachers' strikes and there's more planned for Tuesday in England. Well, what I love about what you're doing this morning is that... It shows that these strikes, it affects the whole country. It goes to places like, I'd never heard of Trafield before, but looking at it, I want to go to it. It looks, it looks really, really nice. And how would you describe the school? Is it a big school, small school, village school? It's a, a fairly big school because it's got the, the sixth form added to it as well. So there's more than 100 children that, that come to school here. And Driffield's a fairly rural area, you know, so it is one of the big schools in the region. So people will be impacted by the strike action today. It's obviously children that are, are needing to learn, but also parents as well trying to find cover if they're having to, to look after the children today when they can't come to school.